welcome to this new video about the brand new array interface more fluid easy access get all about the array in one place with the new configuration it will make easier to understand the array to work on them to grow stronger first the graphism cock really improved the design the ambience of the room with the table with the two array uh, on them the eight level of the array guarded by two angels give uh, some ominous aura to the room and to the array like a sacred place uh, for your power make no mistake the array nowadays is one of the hot features to work on and it definitely deserved a makeover when you had default tree access to the array on your troops building you will find 9-1 regrouping the array homepage the exercise and the overview and switch easy between them Get a quick access to your exercise. When you use your free exercise or array table, your result will pop up surrounding by a glowing light, giving again an ominous dimension to your array. Higher level you get, more intense the light is. When you exercise, you still can choose between the two types. When you select to exercise one type of array instead of all, you got an easy look to the level you can obtain. In your home page, you will see the important information, the array, the overview, the attributes. You can slide and check uh, the array you want. From the home page, you can access to the set defender button. With one look, you see your defender array and you can cancel or activate a new one. Switching between array is simple. Just click on the one you want. Reminder, you can name them. I found it very fun, like the file switch. I wish we could also name our dragon like before. The homepage gives you the big picture of your array, the composition with the 8 levels, the overview's attribute, and the set equipment details. Overview of attributes are all attributes from the original one you get with the array, plus the extra random one you may get, and the set of attributes. For the set, you can quick check on what position they are. It is interesting when you have a combo one, to see on what position they are so for example i have it on uh, infantry arch i have a combo of infantry and archery and when i click i see that i have in position one and two the infantry and uh, the others is on my archery when you want to work on one of your array set go to the one you want and then choose the array level you want to work out when you read your array round see that the array are presented as following on the left side 1 to 4 on the right side 5 to 8 that can be confusing at the first but we get it very fast now let's pick the array we want to check the page is organized sort of you can swipe from a level to another here we have the level 5 my favorite one for the damage units and offensive and defensive damages Below your selected array, you will find all the same level array you get. From this page, you can lock your array, sort of not lose it by a mistake disassembling. You can add it to your favorite ones and then get the identity card of the array details. Two parts in the details, the attribute you get and those you might gain by the synthesis. From here, you can upgrade your array with the training supplies to strengthen it. Work on your array means shape it according to your needs. It is here where the synthesis uh, function uh, appear. Uh, it might now be much easier to understand for the players who had the difficulties with the array. You can remove your uh, array from his position and then select one below to replace it. That's a way to change the array uh, when you have a better one. Uh, let's go back to the previous view, you will have a change button on it and uh, he will drive you back to the same page. Speaking of synthetize, the feature presentation is way more easy to apprehend than before. You will have your selected array or it will be empty. If it's empty, just choose one below. Below you have all the arrays who can match for the synthetize, uh, meaning the same level. Select the one you want to synthesize with. Like before, when you do it, you will have the two you used plus the result. If you don't like the result, just keep the one you want. 
To make your workout more easy, use the filter. You can pick the color and the unit type. When you synthesize your light of outline items, you can disassemble directly the useless one to keep going. When you won't work on the others level, you have a quick access and just reach the level to select the one you want. Let's go back to the main interface to the third page, the array overview. You have all your arrays there, equipped or not, this is your storage. You can select the units and the level. Plus you have a filter by colors, equipped or not. From here you can disassemble. It is easy to batch disassemble, avoiding losses by mistake. When I do my array disassembling first, I check the one I want to keep for synthesize or auction. After apply the filters, I scroll the array. Now it's much easier to do that. I keep those who have an random orange attributes. They are valuable in the options. I lock them to be sure to keep them safe. Then I back to filter and add no clock to my selection. Then I will click on disassemble all. In array overview, you got a preview of the array set skill. You can check them by units. The bonus set are activated when you got 2, 4, 6 or 8 arrays from same unit, same color and same level. From overview, you access also to the reset function. This one allows you to return end books and array training supplies. You don't lose the array, it will be reset to level 1. I am very happy with this function because there is no losses, you get what you used. Not like the reformation system reset with the white stone where you lose 20% of your stones. That's very good for the old arrays, the special ones, uh, because those ones you cannot uh, synthesize them, so better you get back uh, your material so you can upgrade the new uh, arrays. Take a focus on the random attributes orange. From level 1 to level 4, for all units you can find health and uh, one special skill. For cavalry is not orange but white, it is dodge, for the archer it's uh, archer crit, infantry got pike scale throw and siege engine got siege engine's offensive damages. So you understand those four positions will be a privilege for get the health in priority. In position 5 to 6 you get the same as 1 to 4, plus per unit the offensive and defensive damages are taken. The anti rates and the damages or damages taken. 5 and 6 are the best spot for the damages and damages taken, the other position you can not have them. In position 7 you lose the health and the damages and damages taken and you keep the special skill uh, chance. You might gain uh, the basic attack and basic defense on the, this spot. So this position is to be privileged to get your basics. Uh, for position 8, uh, you get uh, the same random attribute that uh, level 7, so the basic attack and defense. You can have a uh, specificity, it is a uh, talent point for the enhancement troop from level 9 to level uh, 13. Each unit array corresponds to the unit troop. One attribute is one talent point, so it can be a difference in the battlefield. For example, if you are in cavalry to get uh, one of the Teletra's uh, Griffin uh, talents enhanced by one point. Well, if you did not know, now you know which array to hunt. So, with the new interface, it's easy to go uh, to the auction. So, all the points I did now about uh, the position and the uh, skill uh, attributes you can have is for you uh, to go hunt, uh, to go shop the best arrows in the auction. Before go auction shopping, I suggest you to make your grocery uh, shopping list. Here is mine. Uh, I am looking for uh, the four extra attributes, of course. Uh, level 1 to 4, it will be health and special skill. Level 5 and 6, damage is damage is taken as uh, offensive damage, damage taken, defensive damage and defensive damage taken. 7, I will add basic attack and defense as the offensive and damages and the defensive for the level 8 uh, it will be basic attack and defense plus uh, the um, special talent uh, point uh, to search for level 13 
You can use filter to balance say in the array interface for buying you choose uh, the position and the unit and for the selling it's more complete you can go to the select uh, the attribute uh, unit in, unit uh, kind uh, usually I sell my uh, arrays between 100 and 300 platinum coins my feedback about uh, the new array interface it's, it will be uh, very helpful to player who didn't uh, understand yet how uh, to build uh, the array because it's uh, very easy to navigate between the different uh, area you can do your exercise very easy you can check your array and uh, your attributes uh, on the home page and the overview will give you the opportunity to make a uh, action like uh, disassembling all the reset with the filters and the disassembling uh, with the filters make it safer and uh, we will might have a player uh, uh, dare to uh, do this because now many are holding back uh, fearing to lose uh, something well i really appreciated the graphism of the interface i will call it the, the room the array room and uh, the fact uh, that uh, now uh, I will gain uh, time when I will do my array and for those who had uh, some uh, uh, difficulty to apprehend uh, the array I am confident now that they will be able uh, to enjoy it well this is the end of this video I wish you uh, a good weekend and stay tuned